Now to tie this variant of the Dubry, hook I'm using is a Camasan, it's a B175 size 12. Thread, I'm going to start off with a, a uni thread AO and fire orange. We just simply start at the eye and we work our way down. Laying a good layer of thread down along the shank and stop it just around about line with the barb of the hook and then remove the base piece. Now for the tail of the fly you can use just a bright red wool or in this case this is glow bright floss number four. Now there's eight strands in this just brushed together. Now we tie it full length of the body. Now it's important that you give yourself plenty of room at the head area for the minus basically tying in three hackles but one one comes down the body and two at the front so give yourself plenty of room. Now there's two ribs in, in this fly and I'm using a this is a copper coloured wire. Now you could use gold if you want. And I'm going to use a holographic gold tinsel. Let me tie this, just set it on the side. This is a gold holographic, and that's a medium gold, and it's UTC. And just tie it on the side. And then, it's important that you tie these in nice and tight. All the way up. Tail. Tail length is really, every light's a length. I mean, whether it's short or long, it's entirely up to yourself. Now, just short of the body length. Trim it away. See how it just nice and fluffs up. Now, on the way back down, I'm tying, this is micro straggle. It's UV in gold and it's dyed hot orange. This is this one here. It's a nice. Nice material to to use in some of these flies. Now the original is just a gold body. Tie that and then the way back down, nice and tight, right up against the tail. And then come back up. And wind watch this out of the way. Touching all the way up, drawing back any fibres. You don't want to trap too many fibres. Just draw them back like you would do a hackle. So you get to this point here, cross your thread and secure it in with a good four or five turns. Trim away. Now, holographic tinsel, I'm going to wind towards myself. Not many turns, you're looking about three or so. That fourth turn there is basically on the area where I'm going to tie it on. And Body hackle. This is a white and saddle. Cock saddle. It's a Hebert Minor. Now, it's quite, it's not too too stiff. It's a, well, it's like a medium type hackle, meaning stiffness, so you get you can get them really too too sharp. Now do a turn at the top and then basically on the edge of the holographic so try and come down without trapping in too many too many of the fibers, just take your time. Just check and see how that's sitting. Come up at this point here, get the wire a straight turn, cross top of the tail and over the hackle and then wind up. Now this is cross rubbing all the fibres, giving it strength. You can break or tear that off or cut it off. Now this last turn I usually draw back these fibres. Bring it up, bring the thread with it, ninth degree bend into the wire. And that basically locks in these turns. Then take your thread towards the eye, bend and break the wire off. If you want an orange head or a fire orange head, then carry on. If you want to darken it down, which I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the thread to a uni thread in black, AO. Just start it like you would start a normal thread, 
wind over, remove the waste piece, plus your fire orange thread, take it out of the way. And there we are. Now we could come in with uh, some Velcro just to bring out any flash that may be trapped. It pulls together once this has been fixed a bit. Another thing we're using the Velcro, it kind of softens these fibres up, draws them back. Now for the legs, this is bleached and dyed pheasant tail and now what I've done here is sort of tie the tips, just put a knot on. Now I'm using both sides, I'm taking two from either side. So just have them sitting in your fingers so they're apart. Get the length, just slightly by the tail. Hold them, come around with a couple of loose turns or so, just to see how these are going to sit. That looks okay. And fold these back for strength. You can break that away. A wee bit of wax on my thread at this point. And now I've got two hackers to tie in. I've got a hot orange and a black. And there we are. It's a black, and there's a hot orange. These are Basically just Chinese hen capes. Now the orange goes on first. The length of the fibre you're looking longer than the body fibres, the hackles. I'm going to tie this in by the tip. Now you're only looking a couple of turns. Don't want too many. And down a couple of turns, come back up. Keeping the thread nice and tight break away that, make away the point. I so say you only want to. Now if you've waxed your thread, the thread should stay, meaning not slip. There we go. The advantage of using wax is that point, the grip, it gives you the grip. Oh, you've got more on. And if you do let the bobbin go, it doesn't come loose so doesn't they pull back trim that way and tidy up that area again get with black tie in the exact same way tie in by the tip now these are great loch flies loch style fishing traditional and uh, I mean you could fish them in the river but to be honest with you they're more for locks so if you ever come to the UK and you're looking for traditional style type or bob flies this is, this is a good one and it will represent a couple of naturals especially one like the heather fly if we turn through Two turns, draw it back. Always keep the thread tight. You've got a wax on there. And as you see, I'm only run the wax through once, twice at the most. Don't need too much. Now, that's the confidence that having wax on your thread does. It means you can strength, thread turns are nice and tight, and you can break hackles and stuff off. So, yeah, what finish? And then trim. There you go. And there we are, that's our the variant of the the dubri. There we are. A nice, got a nice shape. Lots of aiming points on there. Nice bit of colour. And all we have to do is just varnish. All the way around. Use a needle if you want. I'm just using the brush. And there we go. Let's clean the eye out. Make sure that's. There we go. And there we are. As I say, that's your variant of the Dubri. And as I say, a good fly here in the UK and Ireland. Uh, certainly worth tying a few up in different sizes 10s, 12s, 14s. <laughs>